Hey, this is Andrew Brown from ExamPro, and we're taking a look at eDiscovery, which is a service found within Microsoft Purview. So eDiscovery stands for electronic discovery, and this is the process of identifying and delivering electronic information that can be used as evidence in legal cases. So you can use eDiscovery tools in Microsoft 365 to search for content in Exchange Online Mailboxes, Microsoft 365 Groups, Microsoft Teams, SharePoint Online, OneDrive for Business Sites, Skype for Business Conversations, and Yammer Teams. So Microsoft Purview provides us with three discovery solutions. The first one is Content Search, which lets you run a search across content. The second one is eDiscovery Standard, also known as Core Discovery, is a workflow to search and export content. And the last one is eDiscovery Premium, also known as Advanced eDiscovery, is an end-to-end -end workflow to preserve, collect, review, analyze, and export content for internal or external investigation. And we'll talk more about these three solutions in the next slides. So eDiscovery Standard in Microsoft 365 provides a basic eDiscovery tool that organizations can use to search and export content in Microsoft 365 and Office 365. You can use eDiscovery Standard to place an eDiscovery hold on content locations such as Exchange mailboxes, SharePoint sites, OneDrive accounts, and Microsoft Teams. Nothing is needed to deploy eDiscovery Standard, but there are some prerequisite tasks that an IT admin and eDiscovery manager have to complete before your organization can start using eDiscovery Standard to search export and preserve content. So those requirements would be things like the initial setup. You'll need to verify and assign appropriate licenses, assign eDiscovery permissions, and create a core eDiscovery case. And from there, you can use the create an eDiscovery hold feature, search for content, and export and download search results. So let's take a closer look here at content search. To perform a content search, you can create a new search, specify the locations, and provide the keywords and conditions. Keep in mind that if you leave the keywords blank, it will return all items with the conditions. So I just want you to notice a few things here in the visuals. Here you can create a new search, and you can search by ID list. Here we have our location that we can turn on or off. So we have exchange point, share point, and exchange. You could also search within a hold. So you have your keywords here, you can leave that blank. And they have a long list of conditions that you can choose from here. Moving on to eDiscovery holds, so a hold preserves content that might be relevant to a specific eDiscovery case. You can place a hold in basically the same locations we've mentioned before, so Exchange Mailboxes, OneDrive for Business, Microsoft Teams, Office 365 Groups, and Yammer Groups. The content is preserved until you remove the content location from the hold or until you delete the hold. And after you create an eDiscovery hold, it may take up to 24 hours for the hold to take effect. Taking a look at eDiscovery Premium, formerly Advanced eDiscovery. So eDiscovery Premium workflow builds on the existing eDiscovery standard workflow. It is an end-to-end -end workflow to preserve, collect, review, analyze, and export content that's relevant to your organization's internal and external investigations. It also lets legal teams manage the entire legal hold notification workflow to communicate with custodians involved in a case. So the built-in workflow of eDiscovery Premium aligns with the Electronic Discovery Reference Model, EDRM, which is a framework that outlines standards for recovery and discovery of digital data. So the workflow would essentially look something like this. Add custodians to a case. Search custodial data sources for data relevant to the case. Add data to a review set. Review and analyze data in a review set. And export and download case data. So that's eDiscovery and its types of solutions and capabilities.